What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. I hope you guys are all doing well out there, enjoying your Steam decks and playing all of your favorite games. I also want to thank you guys for the tremendous amount of support that we've been seeing here on the channel. It's been amazing. We've gained over 500 subscribers in the last month and I mean, to me, it's just unbelievable. So I just want to thank you guys for that. We're well on our way to 1000 subscribers here on the channel, which is a major milestone. And we have a huge surprise in store for the community when we hit that mark. So you definitely don't want to miss out on any of that. Eventually I will probably set up a discord server where we can all kind of hang out, and chat and talk and share ideas, share fixes, and I can help you guys out on things that you might be having issues with. I don't have answers to everything, but anything I can help you out with, I definitely will. I'm also taking requests on games that you guys want to see running on the Steam Deck or video ideas for tech tips. If you guys say, hey, how do you how do you do this in Steam Deck? How do you do that in Steam Deck? And if I know how to do it, I'll definitely share that with you. Other things may take a little bit of research before I can do the video, but once I figure it out, I'll definitely make a video about it. And today's video is one of those videos. So we got a question from Danish Tut Gamer and shout out to Danish Tut Gamer who asked, how do you get FPS counter to work on Windows? And for me, it's impossible to quit games sometimes. So today I'm gonna cover FPS counter and I'm also gonna kind of deal with how to like deal with a game that is frozen up or locked up on you, how to get out of it in Windows. Before we dive in guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So first we'll go over FPS counter in Windows. The FPS counter that I use is the built-in FPS counter which is the Xbox Game Bar FPS counter. This is built into Windows, so you don't have to download anything to get it to work. All you gotta do is activate it. And if you've been following along with our channel and you have installed SWICD on your Steam Deck, then activating the Xbox Game Bar FPS counter is as simple as hitting the Steam button because that's what it's mapped to by default. And then once I bring up the Xbox game bar, what I usually do is find a good place to position my FPS counter somewhere on the screen where, I, you know, it's not going to be blocking anything. And then I pin it to the screen. And then that way, when I exit out of the game bar, the FPS counter remains on the screen just like this. And you can even choose how big you want it to be and how much information you want it to show. If you want it to show the graph, you can see the graph. Right now we have it focused on CPU usage percentage, but you could have it focused on FPS if you want, where it'll give you the average FPS that you're getting in your games. There's a few different options on how you want to use this, but basically this is the FPS counter that I use and I like it a lot more than the one that I was using before on the Steam Deck, which was the MSI Afterburner. And because MSI Afterburner doesn't show all the information that it normally does on a regular PC due to the architecture of the Steam Deck. I've also gone ahead and remapped this button over here to bring up the start menu and the taskbar. And this is really helpful when you get into those situations where the game has frozen on you and you can't control alt delete because there's no keyboard to use a control alt delete on the Steam Deck unless you have a physical keyboard plugged in. So let's assume for a moment that Overwatch 2 has frozen on us and we need to get out of it. We can just hit that button there and then we'll use the mouse trackpad to right click and then just close out of the game. Simple as that. Setting this up is easy. If you remember the website that we went to to download the SWICD driver, there was an optional number four driver kit that we didn't really advise to download 
but this is what you're going to need in order to be able to map keyboard functions to the buttons on the steam deck it's called a tether script virtual hid driver kit all you'll need to do is download that along with swicd if you haven't done so already and this will help you map keyboard functions to the buttons on the steam deck so all of our buttons on the steam deck have a purpose now none of the buttons are going unused even our back paddles are used as you'll see here shortly when we get into a game before we do that we'll go into the settings and show you how to map buttons now i'm, I'm not an expert on on this application yet but i do know how to do this so i'm going to pass on this information to you guys if you have swicd already launched in the tray down here we just click on that and then here you'll see the default controller profile you're going to want to go to the tab that says keyboard mappings and then you'll see all of the buttons here you'll see on one side it says hardware button and on the other side it says emulated key so here i go to the three dot option and i just set this to l win which is the left windows key and that's how we're able to bring up the start button in the task taskbar down at the bottom to help exit out of games or to do any other thing right and you can see you have all these other options as well if you want to map certain keys to certain buttons on the button mapping tab you're basically mapping the steam deck controller to an xbox controller so it, that's basically how this is all working it's emulating an xbox controller some of you have asked me about gyros and whether or not they work in windows now personally i've never used gyros in a game so i don't really know a whole lot about how it works but i do see it has options in here for the gyro you're more than welcome to play around with that i personally don't use it so i don't know a whole lot about it one more thing i want to mention about swicd is that when you're using it is this is mostly for non-steam games you don't need it for steam games steam games work perfectly fine with windows so when you're using swicd for games outside of steam you're going to want to make sure that steam is closed or else steam and swicd are going to be fighting for control over your controller when you want to play a game in steam then you're going to want to close or pause swicd all right so now that all of that is out of the way we're going to hop into a match just so i can show you that the back buttons on the steam deck controller do in fact work now what you'll notice in this gameplay is that when I jump around, I'm using the back paddles to jump around. I'm not actually using the A button. I'm using the back paddles back here to bunny hop and try to escape, you know, difficult gunfights and so forth. So that's what you'll pretty much notice in this gameplay here. Also, just a quick word on running steam running overwatch 2 on steam os i know some of you guys were having some difficulties getting it to run using bottles and all i can say is whenever you're using a workaround to try to get a game to work in steam os there can be issues sometimes it can be a little bit buggy it's not going to work perfectly because it's not this game isn't really meant to work on steam os so it should be expected that there could be issues that you can run into and as i've said before and i'll continue to say this the best option for running games like this is to have your steam deck dual booted rather than going through all kinds of workarounds to try to get the game to work it's much easier just to have windows dual booted on your steam deck and then just play the game on windows as you can see here we're getting a locked 60 fps no stuttering no nothing going you know wrong in the gameplay is very smooth it's running perfectly on the steam deck in windows so for those of you who had issues like with stuttering and things like that this is the best option and you know i, I kind of got tired personally of using workarounds and that's why i decided to dual boot my steam deck and for me it's, it's been it's been an awesome experience having windows on my steam deck and I just use Steam OS for the games that are considered verified and playable. And it works out perfectly. I can play 
all of my games. My Steam Deck is now a mini handheld version of my gaming PC. There's no game on my gaming PC that I cannot play on the Steam Deck. So definitely consider dual booting your Steam Deck. But anyway, guys, I think uh, we're out of here. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos like this. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.